70 years after states adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, it is just as powerfully relevant as it was on its first day. The right to life, liberty and security of person, the right to education, health, shelter, decent working conditions, freedom from discrimination, the right to speak up and to participate in decisions, freedom from arbitrary arrest and from torture, and the right to a fair trial. Human rights are essential to all of us, like the air we breathe. We may barely notice when our human rights are respected, but millions of people suffer acutely from their absence and cry out for them to be upheld. The Universal Declaration has helped countless people gain greater freedoms and equality. Violations have been prevented, independence and autonomy have been attained. While not all the promises of the Universal Declaration have been fulfilled, many people have been able to secure essential rights and freedoms and put an end to discrimination. Honoring these principles in real life is vital to preventing violence and building peace. Uh, societies built on justice and equal rights before the law are more cohesive, fairer and more prosperous. I want to emphasize that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is universal. Uh, human rights are an inalienable part of every human being and nobody has a license to take these rights away. We need to stand up for human rights. They are precious and they can be broken. Today, these principles are under threat. In many countries, we see a backlash against the progress made on women's rights and the rights of minorities. Uh, some governments openly violate the rights of their people and undermine international human rights law. This can be and must be resisted. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. You, me, everyone, in our daily lives, our schools, our work, in our political and community life, all of us can uphold that fundamental truth and build the better global community for us all. Please join us. Stand up for human rights.